the views and opinions expressed on Beautiful Disasters are those of the panelists and not those of the Geeks Under the Influence Network, their sponsors, or anyone else involved. Also, there is going to be a lot of adult language used on this podcast, so please keep your little kitties away, unless you don't care about them that much. Welcome back to Beautiful Disasters, Schlock Abuse Edition. Boom. Oh, these are the first Schlock Abuse episodes of 2023, baby. Mm, yep, yep. And just like 2022, they're going to suck ass. Yes. <laughs> but, you know, I, I feel like... Uh, I feel like uh, we we keep upping the ante and just giving ourselves like worse and worse uh, things. <laughs> I don't know, man. You give me some doozies through the fucking years, man. Oh well, I got things to say about the one you gave me, but we're gonna start with the one I gave you. Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, coming out the gate. So uh, yes, uh, some months some months back we had a little bit of a hiatus, but like some months back I did give you a flick, and uh, what was that? Oh, uh, you know. And the tradition of Kong versus Godzilla and Freddy versus Jason. Someone was inspired and they said, How about Dahmer versus Casey? And oh, someone yeah. made a movie of that. And that's what I was assigned was this tire fire that <laughs> is someone's idea of, I want to have somebody versus somebody else. So. Yeah, the feature I was assigned was fucking Dahmer versus Gacy. Oh, wow, this is actually, like, years old. This is 2010. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought it, it might... It doesn't matter. I think if it was made last year, the quality wouldn't change, because it's low budget as a motherfucker. Well, And I, I mean incredible bulk I picked it budget. up, like, prophetic in some way, shape, or form, because, like, I picked it up, you know, probably, like, a dollar somewhere on DVD, but... You know, lo and behold, a few, like a few like months later, that uh, was a Netflix show about Dahmer. Yeah, blew the fuck up, and I oh, was yeah. like, "Oh, this is perfect! I gotta give this to Hunter." <laughs> I'm surprised they did not re-release this movie just to try to capitalize on it. But in the <laughs> same instance, no, no, I don't think that they want to stay away from that. Oh my! There is a movie though that stars Jeremy Renner as Dahmer. That I still need to check out. Jeremy Renner. Yep. Oh, I have not seen that one. Yeah. Okay. By the way, uh, did we tell everybody who the fuck we are? Oh, uh, yeah. I said very briefly, a beautiful disaster, but I didn't actually like brand us. Yeah. Because I'm really stupid and bad at that. Yeah. But yeah, you know, who the fuck are you again? Oh, who am I? Yeah. I'm the Groots. Yeah, and I guess I'm Fu Hunter. So that's right. That's yeah. right. And also, uh, yeah, beautiful disasters. We're a podcast where we uh, we uh, check out like cheesy movies. Uh, underseen movies, cult flicks. And then these kind of fucking movies. And then talk the... about them. And then in schlock abuse, yeah, we try to inflict the, the bad movies not on the each good, other. Not the good bad, the fucking bad bad. Yeah, not the ones that like everyone's going to enjoy us like talking about. Yeah, these are the non... There's been, I believe, one occurrence. Yes. One occurrence where there was a schlock abuse that actually was something I wanted to have in my collection, and that was just by accident. <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah i think so yeah and uh i think the one i gave murph recently that uh that we just released an episode about i guess when this comes out a couple weeks ago uh was kind of an apology to <laughs> the bullshit an apology slock abuse the bullshit right. that i gave murph uh that that was amityville Van, uh amityville vibrator i gave murph a movie that was actually all right afterwards that's not fair hold on a second well i mean i didn't know the amount of shit that you've given me i never get an apology schlock abuse i didn't know how they were gonna look at it but you yeah. know it was uh no, no, no that's fine that's fine it, it came it came across better it's just jealousy i'm just projecting jealousy because i get punished over and over again with these well shit you punished movies. me just fine with with the one you gave that me, is so. true oh yeah that'll be the next episode <laughs> But let's go into this fucking yes. tire fire that is Dahmer versus Casey. For one thing, low budget is shit. And I knew within the first 10 minutes, oh shit. Because I recognize 
one of the actors that plays the soldier as a dude I remember from that shitty ass incredible bulk piece of shit. Get fu- the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, that's not a good sign. <laughs> oh god. The amazing bulk. Is yeah. it the amazing oh, bulk? The amazing bulk. Yes, yeah, that's right. Sorry. Yeah. That is copyright. copyright gotta again. be Careful. like up with Birdemic, one of the worst movies ever it's made. Fucking t- I mean, again, incredible bulk or amazing bulk. They get into what is a kid's drawing of a car on a computer and we're supposed to go, that seems okay. Yeah. This movie is a step up. There's nothing kid drawn vehicles in this. But <laughs> um Okay, so let's just go to the base of this real quick. And the whole setup of it is is that the secret there's a secret government agency and they decided the next step in going in in warfare is cloning serial killers and then just I guess send them over to that country and like yeah, have your way, kill the fuck out of people. Isn't that it's, kind of like almost the plot of virtuosity? Pretty kind, much. Kind of. And just like the plot of virtuosity, <laughs> they can't seem to secure what they're working on. And whoopsie, uh, fucking Dahmer and Gacy clones fucking escape and hijinks ensue. So, uh, real quick, there's a like cameos left to right. Um, the one that kind of like threw me off is, is uh, I'm trying to think. The lady that plays later on, and this is before that movie, I guess, got big, but that plays the nun in The Conjuring 2. Uh-huh. She's in this. Oh, shit. Uh, Felicia Rose shows up. Oh, shit. There's random fucking cameos that I don't know of the director. The weirdest one is, is you have this side character who is obviously crazy that is supposed to take out these clones. He's not hired. He's told by the word of God. And the word and the oh voice my. of God is Harlan Williams. Really? Through his radio. Yeah. So we're like, you should really, you know, it's that Harlan Williams voice. And I'm just like, <laughs> and I checked just to make sure. And it's fucking Harlan Williams that's in there. But I guess he needs work too in 2010. Uh, where the fuck has he been? He's still alive? I guess doing these fucking movies. Oh, I, I have no idea. So I'm not going to break down the fuck out of this plot. But no, let's no. just say. There's fucking stupid kills. You get this bum that grabs an obviously fake rat and chomps down on it. And then Gacy shows up and fucking squeezes his eyes out. You get Dahmer, who's in a vehicle and pulls over. There's a hitchhiker and they're driving and she's like, well, you know, uh, I'm really appreciative. Uh, Maybe I should give you a little head for the road. And then he pulls out a cleaver and he says, uh, I'm gonna take that's I'm gonna take your head. And he chops her head. Now mind you, her head's already in his lap. I don't know if I would attempt to kill somebody near my fucking penis. I'm just like he's chopping down towards his legs, towards well, his dick. Well there's that and there I, I I burned into my brain is that line from the Shawshank Redemption where he's like A bite hard. Yeah. You know, if if you put that in my brain I'll bite down. Yeah. I'll bite it off. Well, she hadn't actually done anything besides have her head down Oh, there. she she wasn't like... But I still think swinging a cleaver, like a fuck. I don't know why you had a cleaver or not a fucking knife, down towards the area of my body, I may, you know, maybe pull over, throw her out, cut her head off somewhere else. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm never in that rush to kill somebody that I don't want to get the road head first safely. Yeah. So I, I totally understand. All right. Then we get the most ridiculous cameo. Okay. It's the scene at the bar, and this the bartender is telling lame fucking jokes that are not good at all. And I noticed the two guys he's talking to, one motherfucker didn't recognize. And the other guy was like, this guy with long hair looks just like burnt out fucking like, you know, old school metalhead. Steven Adler, if you remember from the original days of GNR, the original drummer Holy who fucking got kicked the fuck out shit. because of his drug problem. Because he did more drugs than all the rest of them. Yeah, which is a big task, by the way. Shut up in this movie. It, it looks like this director must have known people or he was filming this in LA. So whoever he ran across, he's like, hey, can I just have you do this one scene? So there's Steven Adler. And what does he do? He goes to the bathroom, pulls out a baggie to do drugs. I'm like, well, that's right on the money. Okay. And um, then in rolls in fucking uh, Dahmer, and, uh, who pretty much uh, 
kills the shit out of him uh, with a drill. Has a drill. Okay. Drills his head. And then fucks the dead Steven Adler body. Yep. <laughs> Is that his one IMDb credit? Yeah. <laughs> Killed and fucked by Dahmer in Dahmer versus Gacy. Yep, that's that. There you go. Hey, you know, if you're going to have a legacy, make it good. <laughs> yeah. A lot of this movie, by the way, it, it, it's it's an obvious wink, wink, look, we're being kind of, we're trying to be funny. Right. So it's news clips and this news anchor who's like, you know, people are still looking for the clone bodies of these two serial killers. And then you get where the man on the street, they're interviewing people. That's like 70% of the movie. It's just like a scene and then back to the newsroom <laughs> with all the stupid shit scrolling at the bottom. Uh, it's goddamn, it's just fucking. And you're like, okay, well, that's stupid. Can we get something else? And then they cut to a trailer where you have this motherfucker, Ringo, yeah, who, again, is talking to his radio, Harlan Williams, as he's trying to kill himself and decides, no, I have a mission to throw my Confederate backpatch fucking vest on <laughs> and go out to stop these serial killers i'm on a mission and you're like oh, oh no <laughs> then we cut back to some more hijinks with these motherfuckers um and then we like again more stupid kills nothing really worthwhile at all it cuts back to the base where oh yeah i forgot to mention the doctor that cloned them um both Dahmer and gacy their main mission is to find this doctor and kill him to the point where they go. I think Gacy goes to his house and kills his wife and his kids, which you find out from a phone call where the police call the doctor and tell him your kids, your wife and your kids are dead. And then there's an image of this baby doll covered in blood on a swing. It's what the fucking, fuck is fucking stupid. I bet he had his Oscar moment after that call, yeah. right? He's oh, like, no. no. Plus here's the thing. He was in the facility that they just escaped. If they wanted to kill him, they could have just found him in there and killed him. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> right? Yeah. It doesn't make any fucking sense. But come to find out, the general, the chick that's the nun in The Conjuring, talks to somebody else and says, we have a backup plan. It's called X-13. And they're like, we'll send X-13 to eliminate the problem. Okay. Dahmer and Gacy clones killing motherfuckers left and right. Right. So, I'll reveal what X-13 is in a second. Then you get to a scene where Ringo, the guy that's told by God to kill them, um, has to find uh, uh, Katata to use as his weapon. Buried. Well, then, flashback to the general saying, Japan has also worked on cloning their killers, and they've sent some over to the United States. Which what? are just ninjas. They're just ninjas. They found... This movie has ninjas? It, yes, sort of. I mean, like the worst choreographed <laughs> fight scenes. Again, Ringo, the drunk redneck that talks to God, is able to take out three ninjas with no fucking problem. <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> these are clone ninjas that apparently they picked the worst fucking ninjas ever to be cloned because, again, the drunk redneck is able to beat them down pretty fucking fast, all right? not It's like, oh, shit, ninjas. Well... Remember the ninja fights in um, Velocipaster? Yeah. Do you remember the epic fights that happened in that movie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah this is worse choreographed fights wow. than that movie. When all they, right. When they had like a like a freaking Yeah, I mean just paper overall mach just paper mache. terrible fucking fighting, whatever. <laughs> but he's able to the drunk redneck that talks to God is able to defeat him. So then we get to where uh, they decide pretty much um, they figure out where the doctor lives. So, Dahmer's captured the doctor in his house, and then Gacy shows up at the house also to kill the doctor. They then are arguing with each other in almost a cartoonish, like, I'm going to kill him. No, I'm going to kill him. As they're fighting, the doctor escapes and runs out. Then they start <laughs> tackling each other in, like, the most cartoon, but they're not actually stabbing each other or doing anything besides... Just rolling around the ground. So your big moment, this whole fucking movie, Dahmer versus Gacy, is like the Three Stooges fights. It's the Three Stooges. I was about to say that. Three but not good <laughs> like the way South Park did it, but just stupid rolling around. Well, all of a sudden, 
the doctor is fucking killed, but not by either of them, by X-13. Aha. Uh-huh. X-13 is the corn cob killer. The corn cob killer? I don't know. It's their secret weapon, and it's this other dude that looks like a serial killer, but he kills people with corn cobs. What? So the doctor is killed by him. He then goes into the house and proceeds to kill, I believe it's Gacy. Yeah. By shoving a corn cob in his throat and choking him to death. Okay. Then all of a sudden, for no reason, a fucking ninja that survived the attack shows up, but then is immediately killed. But he just shows up in the house. And you're like, wait, why are we doing this now? What? (laughs) <laughs> There's a whole other sequence where the corn cob killer is talking shit to Dahmer, and Dahmer's talking to him. And from it there, you're like, oh, wait, are they going to team up now, even though he's been sent to kill him? No, corn cob killer pulls out a corn cob. He has plenty of them. Apparently. And stabs Dahmer to death in the chest with the corn cob. Don't ask me to explain how you could do that, but that's how he kills Dahmer. Okay. Yeah. And then the man of God. Fucking Ringo fucking rolls up in there and fucking shoots the corn cow killer, and it's all completed. Now, that doesn't sound like much of a plot. And again, no. 70% of this movie is just let's go back to the news desk and talk about shit. And you have a like natural born killers moment where there's these three chicks that are wearing I love serial killers. A la Natural Born Killers. Okay. Like, yeah. We love serial killers. Yay. And, we and, love Mickey and Mattamy. They're so cool. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, exactly. And it, it's pretty obvious this director didn't have much of a script. So what he filmed and he realized, oh, shit, I only have a 45 minute movie. I've got to fill in a bunch of shit, which is the Ringo, the redneck killer insert. Add some shit with that. Then, oh, shit, I still need about. 30 plus minutes of filler a la the cutting to the network show and the on right. on the man so, so that's all it is that's it's right. just interviews and stupid jokes some stupid kills interviews stupid jokes stupid kills this ringo motherfucker we don't care about back to the, it's just it's boring on top of everything else it's boring and the jokes are fucking lame there's nothing good here so I did look at the back of this uh-huh. a minute ago, and this movie does clock in at 91 minutes. Yeah. So it's an hour and a half. Uh-huh. That's what I'm saying. 40 minutes of actual probably stuff that was written down to make a movie, and then the rest of the movie filler like a motherfucker. So this could have been this could have been a concise like VHS release 73 minute movie and maybe saved you about 20 minutes of your life. Yeah. But yeah. They stretched it out to fucking an hour and a half. It's almost like, do you remember that movie, uh, movie 43 or, yeah. And it's just really bad sketch that, and nothing's yes. funny. It's just like, yeah, like, you know, like little people were funny. Ha ha ha. And the, but it's, right. that's their whole thing. This is like that. All the interviews are trying for these jokes. There's a dude that's a hot dog stand. He's like, you know, I like, I like, you know, wieners, but not dicks. And like, just really fucking stupid shit. That's what this movie is. It's movie 43, but trying to have serial killers in it. But the director, nobody wanted to tell him, your shit's not funny. Your shit's not funny at all. The kills Ooh. are stupid. Your shit's not funny. It's just a worthless movie. God, it's worthless. And in case people were kind of digging that shit, at the very end of the movie, they go back to the government, secret bait government agency, which again, uh, did I not even mention, it's just one office that they just did set changes in. <laughs> and yeah. the secret place, it has one soldier that plainly walks back and forth over and over again. That's how you establish this is like top secret shit. But they go, oh no, <laughs> another one has escaped. Well, they didn't just clone Dahmer and Gacy. The last shot is some dude, a soldier getting killed, and it's Charles Manson. And then it goes to black. Ah. And that's it. Oh, oh man, another. But Charles Manson didn't really kill motherfuckers. No, he, he didn't. He sent people 
to kill motherfuckers. Yeah, he 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 made a bunch of hippie cultists. Your information, do his work. yeah, it's just name recognition, <laughs> not actually like, oh my god, Charles Manson's gonna kill me. Well, he didn't actually kill people, but you know what? Go ahead, put him in that category. It doesn't fucking matter. There's zero <laughs> research done with any of this besides oh, the fact man. that they put Gacy in a clown outfit. And Dahmer, they had wear those big fucking, like, you know, glasses. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. that's it. That's all the accuracy they had. Wow. Oh, okay. man. It was. Yeah. Uh, that was a rough one. That right. was. That was. That Fair. was a rough one. And almost it hurts when I watch something that attempts to, like, want to be sort of a, a horror movie and then just bad fucking kills yeah. that I'm like. Yeah, you're hurting my soul a little bit with that. That hurts more, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it was fucking rough. Well, damn. All right, so that was Dahmer versus Gacy. Yeah. Yeah. Big old pile of shit. I don't know if it's streaming anywhere, because, again, it never shocks me when you roll up with these fucking DVDs. I don't know where you get them, but I don't think this is probably should be streaming. Maybe it is, if people want to check it out. We'll see if it is. Oh, if it is, it's probably not even good enough for Tubi. Yeah, it, that's you what I'm saying. It might be. A, it's on one of those, like. It might be free third, on YouTube or something. Who knows? Third level, like, you know, free V or some shit. You know, like, yeah. real down there. I don't know, though. It could be a, it could be a Tubi exclusive. It could be. Hey, yeah, check it out. Dahmer versus Casey. Yeah. If you want a terrible fucking movie, but you want to see how fucking terrible it is, go for it. There you go. That's the challenge. If you're a ser- try to see how far you make it into this fucking. If you're movie. a serial killer super fan, you know you got to be a completist about it. Go for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't. I I feel like if you're a super serial killer super fan though, this you want to really stay away from this shit because you're like that's not how would they do it at all. And again, they plainly go, yeah, Charles Manson's probably the most dangerous serial killer. No. No, he no. no. Like that's the <laughs> amount of knowledge that nothing, nothing. Yeah, want you want to learn something? Go watch Zodiac. You know. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, jeez. So that oh. that was a rough one, but uh, again, maybe it's streaming somewhere. If y'all want to you know, hurt yourself, go for it. I get you. Well, uh, I'm excited for everyone to hear about the next <laughs> one that you gave me. <laughs> oh, but that'll man. be the next episode. But um, yeah, I guess we'll wrap this 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 one up yeah. here. Um, I definitely check out Beautiful Disasters. Uh, you can go to our Facebook page, Beautiful Disasters Podcast. Uh, check us out uh, on Instagram. Pretty much the same thing. I think there's underscores between them. Uh, you can email us directly, Beautiful Disasters Podcast at gmail.com. Yeah, throw us some suggestions, some definitely. good shit. And again, also some schlock abuse. Whatever, you know, there's a oh, lot yeah. of bad, bad, bad movies, but. Always like the little little hints to you throw at each other. So, hundred percent. And uh, let's see what else we got. Um, well, we uh, it is twenty twenty three now. We've got some uh, fun stuff coming up. Um, I'm hoping that this year we are back into some live shows. Fuck yeah. uh, we're trying to organize that. So stay tuned for that shit. Uh, hopefully, we'll have a live performance coming up here soon in the early spring. Uh, maybe even a con appearance. Who knows? We'll see. Hmm. <laughs> Wait to find out. It could happen. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to make any like uh hard. Uh, yeah. we're hoping. <laughs> we're hoping. Hoping. We've done it before. We've regretted <laughs> in the past mentioning that we should totally be there, man. And then it something fell through. But we're really hoping we'll be having a con appearance. We've had good times in the past. Yes. Then, yes. Know, a misfire. You know, you know what would be cool though if we do make that kind of appearance. You like the podcast? You want to roll up some merch? There's got to be a way for them people to get our merch. What isn't there a that, way? There is. I oh, think shit. Okay. it's uh, it's called T Public, motherfucker. Bam! And uh, every fucking show on the network, GUI Network, is on there with a bunch of fucking things, including a brand new show that I I believe will be debuting very soon on the network. And, uh, yeah, yeah, T-shirts, all, all kinds of different merch. It's going to be fun. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's it, right? What, do we, what else we got? Yeah, that, that's about it. So uh, we're right into 2023. Start out with some shit-ass schlock abuse movies. Uh, I'm hyped, man. We're going to knock out some full episodes. It's going to be some fun-ass shit. Oh, we got some we got some great stuff planned, all right? So, yeah, uh, for Beautiful Disasters, I'm the Groots. F you, Hunter. Thanks for listening.
Hey guys, Scotty P here with Smash on your left. And we are the Geek Fathers. That's right, bringing all the trials and tribulations of being a geeky parent. So welcome to our world. And as always, join us or cry. My name is Amy Bogard. And I'm Mike the Hobbit. And we are the hosts of Deeply Upsetting, where we use our expertise to answer your most upsetting hypothetical quandaries, such as what non-wigged animal deserves wings? And what body part deserves a secret mouth? Which cryptid is the worst roommate? These questions and more that plague you will be answered on Deeply Upsetting, available anywhere you get your podcasts and at GUIPodcast.com. 